That is awesome. That is the best sound effect that I've ever heard. This is the sound effect that plays in my mind at all times. Oh god. I'm writing this down. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna make you sit here and be like, Tap, tap, what are you doing? Now I'm writing this shit down. Fourteen. Got twenty-nine. And I bet the colors are important, too. The white was on the left. That's how I'm gonna... I don't like that eight. Looks like an eight and a six. It had horrible number and love with each other. Oh god, meat gators. I suppose that's appropriate. You look famished. Go faster. I realize this is how every frickin' RPG ever plays, but uh, one thing I've the worst part of all of the mother games, I realized, I played all of those games in an emulator at four times speed. Only maybe once or twice was I ever thinking, you know, I need to slow this game down so I can play it properly. No, it just never freaking happens. You know, saying you don't want to be hurt and then attacking me, not a good thing to do. Anyway, I played all of all three of those games turn-based RPGs at four times speed. It's a little slightly excessive, but the movement and text speed and pretty much everything in the game could have been sped up <laughs> by twice, and it would not have been a problem to anyone ever. Oh, great. That was saying, oh, I don't want to die, and then you just attack me, and you die. You know, if you didn't attack me, I wouldn't kill you. How many times do I have to tell people that? Anyway, wait, no, I don't use that. Ugh, the one time I want to use an attack. Um, speaking of RPGs, you're dead. One RPG that does this stuff well, aw, oh, shit. Fuck, I don't know. Um. Shit. I don't know what these things map to. Is this five? Four? I don't number pad. I'm not a number pad kind of guy. I don't do those. It's either one or four. Shit. It's four. four. Wait. I pressed four. What? I don't know how that could have possibly been it. That, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. And now I have no idea what the next one would be. So we're just gonna brute force the entire goddamn thing after this. Because the numbers don't seem to make logical sense. On that one. I think I did that last time. Whatever. 
Anyway, uh, on to RPGs sucking, and I hate them. Um, this Gaia is really awesome about it has lots of features that let you skip all of the boring... Well, not boring, but it lets you skip the attack animations and stuff. And while this Gaia has fucking awesome attack animations, some of the best in any RPG, really, for just normal attacks, like... For a completely normal attack, you'll just knock the moon out of the sky on your enemy's heads. It's just that awesome. Um, but you can skip all that, so you know, if you need to grind and, you know, kill the same enemies 50 times in a row, you can just do that in all of, like, in, like, a few minutes. Um, so... So at this point, the uh, number order just makes no cock fucking sense at all. I'm just randomly pressing shit, and I do not enjoy this puzzle. Yes, guess that. Okay, we... I don't even know what I did, but I'm sure I needed to do it. Not sure why the screen flickers black. I think that's Frap's fault. Lots of meat around, so why don't you just go be productive? Oh. Oh, that oh, doesn't do some damage. Run with courage! checkbox in the menu and you enable that and it all text appears just instantly and you can skip it at any time just pressing a button and you can skip sim uh, cinematics by pressing a button and you can just skip stuff and stop wasting time Son of a bitch. I'm gonna hate this to death oh, God damn it God damn everything Six five. We got another stupid puzzle that's not gonna make sense. Why does the flea button never work? Like seriously, it has never been able to so, Yeah, I do not like this puzzle because after I got through the first four digits, the number orders stop making sense. It was not the reverse number order either. It was. I'm sure there was some weird abstract concept it was supposed to represent or something. I don't fucking care. Silver flesh. Hey buddy. That is not a zero, that is a C. That is definitely a C. Um. Oh. I was gonna say, what the hell? Doggies! Kill the doggies. Oh, I should have healed myself. I wonder if there's like. And 
unlike that puzzle in that other freaking game where music just did not consistently like it just randomly changed in volume. That puzzle was fucking stupid and I hate it. This one is actually possible. I don't really hate you. on forever, okay. I don't have to hate you. I do hate the kind of useless items I get. Um, if you give me a consumable item, I will not use it. That's just how it is. In Earthbound, my um, freaking storage was completely full of cup of life noodles and bags of dragonite and all, you know, the rare super useful items, because I might need them later, so I saved them up and never used them. I think it used to run right against the final boss. That was about it. Yeah, it's me. Wow. The coin sounds pretty freaking ridiculous. Um, I don't understand that. I think you're a phantom. You don't have legs. I just noticed that. You have no legs. I'm here to kill things without legs. That is my order.
Where the heck I was supposed to find extra stuff to purify in the smoke mines. Got like a vampire here or something. Making sheets. That's what vampires do when they make sheets. <laughs> Wolves screw you too! I thought it started very well. Let's go back to the room. Is that like the final area or something? We've only got four zones. Well, I guess it's a good time to stop the video as any. Join us next time for Zone 3.